Chanel won't stop? So what's next? That's the topic of this video, so let's jump right into it. So I've seen some videos on YouTube about Chanel making the wrong moves, that they are alienating their customers with drastic price increases, Chanel bags are not handmade anymore, therefore the quality is going down, so people are moving to Hermes and won't be buying from Chanel anymore. Does Chanel think they're Hermes with the new two bag per year quota? And there's rumors you need a purchase history to get their popular classic flaps in some countries. Well, according to the BOF article, the Business of Fashion article, it says Chanel reported 2021 revenues that jumped 50% year on year to $15.6 billion. Operating profits nearly tripled surging 170% to $5.5 billion. From a financial perspective, it looks like Chanel has done everything that is right for them. Their revenue increased by 50%. Yes, I said 50%. So I'm not saying I don't agree with what everyone has said on YouTube. Yes, the price increases are hard to stomach. Yes, the quality has gone down. I unboxed a few Chanel bags myself, and they had quality issues. And I'll link the two unboxings up here. And yes, I recently started looking into Hermes. I never looked because I never considered buying a bag in the $9,000 range before. Right now, the medium large is $8,800, and after taxes, it's well over $9,000. But guess what? The price increase? has driven more sales, not the other way around. It has not alienated their customers. The declining quality has no impact on their profits. So there is no motivation for Chanel to stop with their price increases or to improve their quality. That is what the numbers say. Do I like hearing this? No, but that is what the numbers say. Chanel's next step is to open VIP boutiques to service their VIPs in a more private and exclusive way. In some countries in Asia, people line up before the store opens in order to get a number to get into the store. There's no such thing as a reserve list. If you call customer service, they won't tell you which store has what bag. You just have to show up to the store and pick from the little inventory that they have, if they actually have anything. And want to offer a more luxury experience with the personal shopper service. Who doesn't want that special one-to-one -one personal experience, where the essay thinks of you and pulls aside some pieces for you? Who doesn't want items that are limited and exclusive that not everybody can easily get? So why wouldn't Chanel, or anybody else, want to take the luxury shopping to the next level? This VIP boutique starts in Asia, and not in the US, so for the time being this won't affect me. So the question is, if these VIP stores popped up in California, how would I feel? When bags are offered to the VIPs first, there's nothing really I can do about that. But the good news is, I think the VIPs like the over-the-top and the gaudy stuff, like the sequins, the bags with lots of embellishments that scream at you, the resin pieces that are in the shape of like spaceships, bird cages, and coming up a slot machine. And those bags I have no interest in. True VIPs just want the latest thing, and they don't care about quality. They don't care that the caviar is more durable than the lambskin. The lambskin feels better and looks more luxurious. And I'm on team caviar, so I don't think this will have any effect on me. So why wouldn't Chanel want to cater more towards their VIPs, who are less picky and spend happy? This is a totally logical move. So next, I want to share with you what I think. I think the price increases has made the Chanel Classic Flaps more desirable. I understand that people on YouTube are saying they aren't buying them, and that is their choice, but that is a very small population. 
I find this reaction, which sounds kind of bitter and scoffing at times, kind of funny actually. You know, they're saying, how dare they? Who does Chanel think they are? The thing is, this move is not personal. These are just handbags. It's not that deep. And I am certainly not butthurt about this. That's right, I said it. Chanel, or any other luxury brand, isn't personally attacking anyone. This is a business decision. And for those of us who still think this is a personal attack, well, then go get a cup of coffee, go take a shower. Well, do something to wake yourself up. I think the two classic bag quota per year will make Chanel classics uber exclusive once again. You know what happens when you're told that you can't have it, right? You will want it even more. Isn't that why people who weren't really into Hermes are now obsessed with buying a quota bag? So next, I want to talk to you guys about what can I do? What action can I take? So wanting and hoping for Chanel to increase their quality and enough with the price increases is not going to happen. So the thing is, people have been saying that vintage Chanel is so much better. It was plated in 24 karat gold. It was handmade back then. The quality of the lambskin and the caviar was so much better. Well, then why not go vintage? I started collecting vintage about three years ago at the beginning of 2019. And at that time, the prices were way more reasonable. I want to give you guys a quick overview of some of my vintage bags today and bust or confirm a few myths. This is the vintage mini square with the 24 karat gold. And the reason why I prefer this one over the newer ones is this is slightly bigger. This is seven inches across and this has a much shorter strap length. So as a crossbody, this falls on me perfectly. To me, this is actually a true square. In the newer ones, the sides kind of bulge out so they look like chubby squares. And to me, that kind of looks sloppy. And I find the vintage bag super structured. And pretty solid. This is the vintage small classic flap in the light beige with the 24 karat gold hardware. And she is about 25 years old. She's a series five. And you can see that she's in almost pristine condition. And that is because of the quality back then, but also the person who owned this before me really took care of her. This is the same small classic flap, but in the black and in the caviar. And she also has the 24 karat gold hardware. She is also a series five. So both this one and the beige one are from the same series. They're both 25 years old. And with her, the structure is also solid. I heard a few times on YouTube that the vintage lambskin ages better than the caviar. And these are both series five, so they're actually the same exact age. And to me, this caviar looks as brand new. So I don't agree with that myth. If a bag is trashed, the bag is trashed, no matter if it's lambskin or caviar. What I can't confirm is that the vintage lambskin is way more buttery than today's lambskin. So this 25 year old bag, the lambskin is super buttery. This lambskin is about 10 years old and this is also very buttery. This lambskin, which came out in 2019, is three years old, and this is not considered buttery soft. This bag that I bought at the end of 2021 is not buttery at all. Of all my lambskin bags, this one is the lowest quality. So, so yes, I can confirm that the lambskin quality has definitely gone down quite a bit. I hope you enjoy this video I'll be doing a separate video talking about Chanel Vintage. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.